I became involved in pressure fruit uh, back in 2010. I was looking for businesses to invest in with the Victus Morgan family and we happened to come across pressure fruit. I'll never forget the first morning, on Monday morning, when I went in there and had a look and could see that it, it was a product that had extraordinary opportunity. And after a few days of reviewing the business, we met and talked about it. And, and I said to them at the time, I said, you know, this is a business that I'd really like to invest in and be a part of. And, uh, and that uh, we basically spent the rest of that evening working out how we could possibly do it. And the rest is history. Pressure fruit had an interesting start to its life. A father and son founded the business. They actually visited the CSIRO and learnt about high pressure processing technology. And they had an idea that they could take fruit preparations and process them into a superior product. And that's what they started trying to do. And what they found was that those products uh, weren't really marketable. So they then stumbled on juice. Um, nobody had ever done juice before using this technology. And so that's how Pressure Fruit started. From when I walked in the door, we had just a small little high pressure processing machine in the corner of the factory. Uh, everything was outsourced, so the juicing, the bottling, uh, the, pretty much everything was done by external parties. And uh, we were really struggling to supply to our small customer base. The machinery that we had was not big enough and uh, not capable of making a profit. We needed to significantly recapitalise the business and so uh, in the first uh, six months of my involvement it included uh, uh, purchasing a lot of new machinery and probably the biggest thing is we needed to extend the shelf life of our juice so that we had a, a lot, lot more opportunity to range our products with the larger supermarkets. Critical to the success of Pressure Fruit are our retailers, Coles, Woolworths, uh, Costco, uh, Lamana supermarkets. They understand what the modern consumer wants in a clean, uh, green, very high quality, pure product. One of our new customers is Grilled Healthy Burgers, where uh, they have changed from supplying heat pasteurised uh, juices to pressure fruit juices, and, and it matches with their healthy burgers. From a factory perspective, we've actually tripled the size of it in the time that I've been there. So there's been a significant capital contribution uh, to enable us to get to a position where we can make sure that our products are as competitively priced as possible, uh, which makes them obviously available to more consumers and it makes it a lot easier to keep them ranged with our larger customers. It tastes amazing, just like you've freshly squeezed it. Uh, the colour doesn't change and most importantly we maintain almost all the natural nutrients and so when you're drinking a pressure fruit juice it's just like drinking a juice that you've freshly squeezed yourself but we've used pressure to give it shelf life so that you can, you can have it for, for many months and not have any degradation of the nutritional benefits. We now purchase our own fruit juice at we fill it, we high pressure process it, we pack it, and we do that now on two uh, processing lines, which is the equivalent of probably about six or seven times the original size of the factory. Pressure fruit products are all Australian. Uh, we use Australian fruit, and we see that as being a very, very important part of our business because we're supporting Australian growers. We're, we're supporting our own um, people in our country uh, with the most premium product that you possibly can. People love a really genuine Australian product and produce. My journey uh, has, has certainly had its uh, ups and downs. We've, we've certainly had some uh, really uh, positive times where, you know, new products, new ranging, lots of growth in sales. And then we've had, I suppose, the dark days where, you know, particularly at one period we ran out of fruit and uh, that was probably the, the toughest time in our business because we had to 
uh, tell the retailers that we couldn't supply them and, uh, and it took a long, long time to recover from that. We now have, uh, have got a lot stronger relationships with our suppliers. We know a lot more uh, about the volume of fruit that's produced each year so we can make sure that we can match our sales to uh, what's available. I've always believed in producing the best possible quality you can. It doesn't matter what business it is, what product it is, if you can produce the best quality product, it's a lot easier to sell and, uh, and people appreciate it.